Hey, hey, welcome to Cooking with D. Today we're gonna be making a really cool appetizer. Super simple. It's gonna be bacon wrapped water chestnuts. Now, believe me when I tell you, these are delicious. Let's get started. Okay, just like the recipe calls for, it's just gonna be whole water chestnuts and then a pound of bacon. And when we get the bacon, you know how your strips are you know, really long, like a foot long, you just cut those in half because uh, you only need half of a, a bacon per water chestnut. So I have my sous chef with me here today. Hi, sous chef. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. <laughs> how you doing today, Pam? I'm good. That's good. This is actually one thing that you taught me how to make. My mom used to make this for all the family party. Things. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And it's super simple. I thought you had uh, like created a gold. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. how'd she make these? That's actually pretty cool. Well, you just heard the beeping. That was the oven warming up to 350 because when we put these in the oven, they're gonna go on 350. So Pam's gonna show you uh, how she learned how to make it or how she taught me how to make it. And then she's gonna show you how she does it. So when you're new at it, you're, you're gonna wanna use uh, toothpicks. So we have toothpicks there and then we don't need to use toothpicks anymore. No. So, okay. Okay, you go for it, girl, you go. Okay. You take the bacon, you take it separate it. That's pretty thick bacon. Do you use thick bacon or thin bacon? Um, yeah, you usually don't use too thick of a bacon, but we this is what we got, so this is what we're using. Okay. Okay. And then you take the toothpick and you poke it through through just, the bacon. Just and enough to hold it. Through the bacon and through the uh, the water, water chestnut. chestnut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I usually just fold it over and then that way. That way you don't have to use a toothpick. All right. All right, that wasn't too bad. We had, what, two pieces of bacon left over and about, what, six or seven water chestnuts? We used two cans mm -hmm. of the water chestnuts. So now what's the next step? Uh, put them in the oven and cook them until they're brown all over. Uh, don't turn them. I don't turn them because the bo bottom caramelizes a lot, so it's really crunchy on the bottom. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we'll put them in the oven. How long would you say, like if you had to put a guest amount? 15 minutes. Okay, and then just check them after that and mm -hmm. see how they look. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it done. All right, there they go, right in the oven. We're about the halfway mark. Mmm, who, oh, that's steaming up the camera. That's too steamy for TV. Who doesn't like to watch bacon sizzle? Yummy. Ooh la la, they're done. Okay, what we're gonna do is pick up the tray, be gentle with this, and then we're gonna I'm gonna drain some of that bacon juice out of there so it'll be easier to handle. See how crisp they are? Because we didn't move them, they're easily coming off. Yeah. Yeah, baby, look at that. They're not sticking. Now, of course, learn from my mistake. Pam made these one time, and I thought I was being sneaky snake <clears throat> by putting one in my mouth uh, when they came out of the oven. These are going to take about 15 minutes to cool down. Those water chestnuts get piping hot. I kid you not. 
they're called water chestnuts because they have water on the inside. Yeah, but you know, when you're hungry, yeah. you just don't think about uh, silly stuff like that. You just think, oh my God, those are pretty good. No, third degree burns in my mouth. But you get what you get, right? That's what you get for sneaking food. Look at you, Pam, amazing. Woohoo! All right, thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. Well, me and Pam, right? Until we circle back around. See you soon. Bye.